one on the plane, what's new? Longest flight ever, four hours. He killed it. Let's go. Hopping. First time out in Chicago. It's lit. It's my first time to a Chicago dispensary too. I noticed two things when looking up weed maps and shit. First thing, it all looks corporate as fuck. There's like three or four brands that own like all the dispos out here. I don't think that's how it always was. I think it started. There are all these small little mom and pop shops, and then there's like three or four companies that bought them all out. So. We'll see what the inside's looking like. Two, all the reviews fucking suck. Like every single dispensary has like three star ratings. There's hella one stars, and I think it's been Colorado first legalized like two years ago. Because all the recent reviews are great, but like any review before 2021, they're like, this place sucks, the line sucks, paid $80 for an eighth, and it was trash, blah, blah, blah. So we'll see what's good, man. Apparently, their shit's taxed as a motherfucker. I think we're gonna buy like a $100 cart or some stupid shit today. Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, first time, right? Yes, this yes. Show. You got your camera on, do you? Uh, no, nah, you know. Well, I can just, I guess you... Product must stay in the bag until you're outside of the building. Yeah. Oh, they got a little parking lot. Oh, super strange, man. So, I don't know, there's a lot of dispos, especially in new states that like don't allow you to bring your camera in there. I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, but you couldn't see any of the product. I don't know if that's every dispensary, but... There's nothing like you just had to just hope and fucking pray you get some good shit. But this is the only rosin card I'm pretty sure like in the state. Seventy dollars. It was about to be a hundred, fifteen percent off first time. Just under a hundred dollars. Half gram cart. Fuck. Uh, big battery. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, nice. Oh, there's a little cookies one. Shout out to the Grand Food Mart, man. Coolest guy ever working in that. What do we got? We're at the corner of Wells and Grand. If you ever need a battery or goodies or liquor, they got it all. Of course, in order to fund all of these ridiculous purchases and adventures that we're on, we need sponsors. Shout out to Adam and Eve, the fucking longest running sponsor on this channel, damn near. Every single month for like damn near two years. Yes, that Adam and Eve, the number one adult toy store in the world, man. Anything you want, male, female, whatever fun, we like to get high and horny out here, baby. Con discount code, 50% off, one item. And free shipping. Fucking insane. Uh, now let's get into this cart, man. Apparently, I thought Florical and Cresco were different brands. Everyone's always telling me to try Cresco because they're in every single state. Like, if your state has legal bud, you have Cresco there, which is pretty cool. I respect the hustle, but um, I didn't know that they owned Florical. Where that's what it says on the fucking receipt, at least. I don't know. Banana runs, live rosin cartridge. Push. What? The, fuck? the packaging is still just as fucked, state to state. Ugh. Oh, a little black tip. Okay, I see what we got going on here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at this. It's been a while since I've had one of these with the little turn dial on the bottom. Let's go. Hopefully it's charged, bro. That would suck ass if it wasn't. Five clicks to turn on, I hope. Oh my God, it's on. Okay, that's good. Just cranked all the way the fuck up. Let's go to like 3.8. This is actually gas as fuck. This is, bro, this has to be the best deal in Chicago. Like, I, just taking one look at the fucking menus, bro, they're selling $100 grams of distillate. Distillate. So this is a half gram, all right? <clears throat> but it's gonna get you feeling way better. <clears throat> like, way less of a price, 30% off, 40% off. There's $110 carts in there, I saw. This shit takes fire, honestly. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Very surprised. <coughs> oh, yeah. That's solid, right? <coughs> Super smooth. <coughs> Hot damn. <coughs> Chicago knows. Sheesh. It's one of those days, man. Yeah, we're about to get after it. <laughs> about to get after it big time. It's pretty good. Oh, this is pretty solid, actually. Not bad. Oh, we're here early today. A little backstage artist area. Come on, guys. This for y'all? There you go, this for y'all. 
Yeah, yeah, good job. What's up, what's up, what's up? How are y'all, man? Yeah, you all from Chicago? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Kill that shit, bro. Good shit, man. Hey, you guys next first. First, first, first. You say, say bye, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. What's up, what's up, man? Let's fucking go, baby. I appreciate y'all, man. Let's go up. Yes, sir. We got one more song left. Y'all fill out with me tonight, Lil Preliminary. Forgot I brought my superb battery, man. I didn't even need to buy that. Oh yeah, kind of a clean little setup. Is that battery? Oh, thank God. Ooh, it tastes a little better with this battery too. We'll take one last hit before the Uber. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Much love, man. You stay safe, alright, bro. This flight was like. Four hours earlier than mine, so now I'm here in Chicago. I gotta wait. Uh, Kendo's at a dog sitter right now, so he's gonna get delivered. Um, we're gonna get really high and get some lunch. I guess. Uh, airport shit. Honestly, this cart, I feel like I get a, a warped view of Chicago, bud, because people are gonna be like, "Bro, you tried the best thing. Like, obviously, it was pretty good." But I liked it. I liked the cart. I didn't think it was too overpricedly taxed. Like, bro, in Cali, I'm constantly seeing fifty, sixty dollar half gram rosin carts. So, you know what? Seventy brand new state. It's. I mean, look at this shit, bro. Like. I'll take it. You know, I'm not too mad about it. I can definitely see why people are pissed about like $80 eights of fucking mid and, and whatever. Next time we're here, we're gonna try out the flower. I think that's what we're gonna do. Look at that. Four minute walk to some ramen. That deserves a blinker. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, what the fuck? So there's a line right outside for this five story Starbucks, which is fucking insane. Look at that. What does that even mean? Chicago does it different, man. realize how dirty my camera lens was, bro. If that messed up any of the shots, I'm gonna be so pissed. Just paid like $10 for a smoothie that tastes like absolute dick. But uh, we're gonna go see the bean. Never seen the bean before? Blinker in front of the bean? Okay, my Uber's right there, it's gotta cross. Wow. Mr. Doge, man. He likes Chicago. I was gonna hit the thing over there, but there's just way too many people, so we'll like, 
you know, get a blinker with the bean in the background, good enough. Shit's pretty fat. Look at you can just flick it. Damn, got an even better look. Might do a thumbnail right here. Let's do a little. Chicago architecture is so sick too. There's like more city down that way. Chicago downtown is fat as fuck. LA downtown's like kind of big. LA as a town is big, right? But the downtown's not that big. But all this, Chicago's sick. All we're doing is blinkers today, baby. Oh, let's go. That's gonna be the video, man. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Show love to Adam and Eve for just, you know, allowing things like this to be possible. You guys, thank you for allowing this to be possible. Traveling, smoking weed, like, it's mind-blowing, man. It doesn't even make sense to me. It just, uh, just doesn't even register. And then sometimes like this, I can take a step back and be like, whoa, like, I'm in Chicago. Like, I've never been to Chicago. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, for being here. Love you, uh, stay high, whatever, all that YouTube shit. I'll see you soon, man. Got a flight to catch. Peace.